Hi everyone, welcome to another Courseplay tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Courseplay to use the overload function. So in the last video, we set up Courseplay to unload the combine by itself. The combine would drive up to the card waiting over there and unload itself and then return to the point of where it left off and continue on harvesting. In this video, we are going to use a, an overloader that will chase the combine and unload the combine while it's still harvesting and when this one is full it's going to return to the trailer parked over there and unload its content into that. So for this we, we need the combine harvester obviously and we already have a course for the combine harvester set up. It's harvesting barley on field number 28. So if we go into course play we open course play by clicking the right mouse button and here we have the course play uh, in the manage course section which is underneath uh, the button with the globe I have field 28 and I already have the field 28 harvest 7 meter uh, course set up so I'm gonna load this course into the course play here there we go now the combine harvester is actually ready to go all we need to do is turn on the engine here we go we don't actually need to do that but it's just uh, it's just common practice to do that. So notice this time we only loaded the harvest uh, course. We didn't load the combine self unload course. So all we have here is the fuel 28 harvest 7 meter course that is loaded into the combine here. So we can go ahead and say start at the nearest waypoint which we will oops, which we will see is just about where we're parked just about there so the it the combine will start at this waypoint and continue on down this line and when it reaches the end of the line it will turn around and go back here so let's get him started drive course and he's off there we go So the next thing we want to do is we want to set up a course for this one. So this is the JCB Fast Track 3000 Extra with an X. That's that's clever. I, I, I definitely see what they did there. Um, we have behind this one we have an overloader card. Um, the overloader card has a pipe like this. It's very very clever and that pipe can be lowered and raised with the mouse button all right so far so good uh, let's put that down there so what we want to do here is start up the engine as well and we want to set up a course because we want this combine here oh, sorry we want this tractor here to chase down the combine when it's full unload the combine into the overloader and when the overloader is full we want the overloader to drive up to the trailer parked up there and unload itself into that. So we need to set up a course for for this overloader so it knows that it has to unload into that one. For that we need to be in the overloader mode which is down here. So the overloader mode you have a safe pipe position. Now for that you would want to have your pipe um, the furthest down so it's closer to and here we have a combine so it's closer to um, the trailer needs to unload in and now we can start recording the course again when you record a course it's important that you don't make any sudden turns within the first three waypoints so we have the first waypoint there and let's continue on here that's waypoint number two and waypoint number three now I'm gonna turn down here to the edge of the field in relatively good time so I have enough time here to position myself without getting in the way of the tractor here and here we go I have the pipe over the trailer now and here I set up a weight point so this is the set weight point button this tell that this tells uh, course play that this is the point where it needs to overload and fill up the trailer so far so good and I continue on up here 
and again leaving myself enough room and here we go I'm gonna stop the course here and there we go I'll set the save pipe position to this one so it knows this is how how far down the pipe needs to go when it's unloading and that's basically it so let's save this one as let's see if we can get this working field 28 overload simple as that so if we go into the manage course and we move this one into the field 28 folder we'll have it down here all right so far so good now again we need to tell this one of this one needs to know that it has to unload this combine so we can go into the manage combines mode or manage combines button here and the find combine mode is set to automatic search as long as we're inside this field as long as this course the overload course is made or is created inside this field automatic search will scan this field that we're in now field 28 for any combines and it doesn't matter if there's one or two or seven combines here it will scan each of the combines and unload them when they need it when it's needed so I am not going to change this one I could set it to manually and if I did that you will see I could choose from here to unload the actual flow combine which is driving over here somewhere it's actually right there I could choose to do that and it would try to read that combine uh, to unload that if it was needed and I can set it to the Acres 595 which is over there but I'm gonna set it to automatic search and it will scan inside the field that it's currently on so this is it it's ready to go so we're gonna tell it to start from the nearest waypoint there we go so now it says no combine in reach and it's gonna scan the field now so any minute now it's gonna show us oh he's outside of the field and he's ready to unload so when he's back into the field this one will run up to him or drive up to him unload the combine and that's basically it no combine in reach still and there we go so he will uh, fold the pipe down as well I think he should <laughs> he definitely should so let's just follow along here as he is chasing down the combine harvester maybe he's not folding the pipe hmm it's a little bit weird and here he goes and it's a she here she goes <coughs> she's going to position herself underneath the pipe of the combine and the combine can unload into this now the overload mode I find that you will need a combine of a certain size uh, the original actual flow combine doesn't really work that well <coughs> pardon me doesn't really work that well with the overload mode um, the chasing tractor this one here tends to get stuck in traffic behind the combine when it tries to unload it uh, just so you are aware of that now and as you can tell um, this overload cart can actually hold quite the amount of grain so it's gonna take a while for this one to get full he's going to drive off so he's outside of the way of the combine and now he's going to tell the combine I'm okay I'm outside of, of your path you can continue look he's going to drive into the course that the combine has just been in like so there we go and then he tells the combine you can continue 
and then he's going to wait up here. Now we're going to send him on the course now, so we can see him on load, and, and then we know this path will function, or this course will function. So he's going to return to the start point, which is over here, and turn around, fold the pipe, there we go, turn on the beacon, and he's going to drive over to the grain cart which we has which we have standing over there he's going to unfold the pipe again and position himself in line of the trailer and hopefully he's not going to get stuck in traffic here there we go he reached the overload point and he's emptying into the trailer and he's going to continue up to the stop sign fold the pipe and return to chasing the combine when it needs unloading so that's how that works i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something if you like the video do press that like button and i shall see you in the next video guys thank you so much for watching bye for now